Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called Miss Moving On by Fifth Harmony. And we're going to end up capoing this on 6th fret, but we're going to start on a C major chord for our verses. And then we play the C major. First finger is going to go to the B string on the 1st fret, the second finger on the D string on the 2nd fret, and the 3rd finger on the A string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. We'll play G major. First finger is going to go to the A string on the 2nd fret. The second finger is going to go to the low E string on the 3rd fret. And the 3rd finger is going to go to the high E string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the G, we're going to go into an A minor chord. We play A minor. First finger is going to go to the B string on the 1st fret. Second finger is going to go to the D on the 2nd fret. And third finger is going to go to the G string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to an F major. If you, if you know the bar F major, that's cool. We're going to talk about a substitute that. But, but for the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum that all, all those together, that sounds an like F major. It sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times, if you're just starting out or just want to avoid the bar chords, you can substitute in something called F major 7. And then when you play F major 7, the first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that sounds like F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. And then from there, we almost start that over again. We go back to our C major, C major, but then we go to an E, ma e minor chord, which is really sad. But the way we play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a really, really sad, and that's called E minor. And then from the E minor, we're going to go to A minor, and then do another A minor, and then we go to an F major chord, and then we do another F major chord. A lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you took the C and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, down up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. pattern that comes to mind though would work off of something called a 16th note and, and right now if you're tapping your foot to the beat we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with, with our, our down down up up down so one two one two and that's called an eighth note what a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts so one two three four one two three four and that's called a 16th note and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns to work with is long down 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 up up down down up down up and what I mean by that is if you take the C and do a down for four one two three four one two three four one two three four what you're doing on the first beat and then on the second beat you're doing a down on one down on three up on four so you're going one two three four down down up down down up down down up and then on the third beat you're doing an up on two down on three so you're going one two three four one up down one up down one up down and then on the fourth beat you're going down up down up right along with the one two three four so you're down up 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 so all together you got a long Now, now it's almost like taking the place of two of the chords that we were playing before. So you have C the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, two, down, 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 up, up, down, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up,
chords are moving a little bit quicker. So if we're going to try our chorus with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we have to do the down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up. On each one, so you could do down, 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 up on each chord. So now I have to see the down, 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 G down, 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 now, now something else with, with, with the, the verse actually is, and, and actually through the tune, it, what, what can also work really well is doing a lot of downs and working with muting, where you kind of take the flat of your right hand and kind of lay it down on top of, of the saddle to kind of get a muted quality, especially at the beginning actually with your verse. So if you wanted to, you could even kind of work that idea. So you'd have kind of C with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, C, G. Could do that through the chorus too, but I, I, I don't know. I think I'd, I'd kind of open it up and do down, down, up, up, down, up, or down, down, down. Up. <laughs> but then when we get basically we're repeating those parts until we get to our bridge part. And on our bridge, we start on A minor, and then we go to a G major chord, and then we go to a C major chord, and then an F major chord, and then we go back to A minor, and then G, and then C, and then we go to A minor. Kind of a big stop time on, on a G major where you maybe just want to do kind of a down down kill it kind of idea on the chord. So we tried our bridge with our down down up up down up, then we have A minor with down down up up down G down down up. experiment with that and then if we tried our 16th pattern a lot of those would have kind of like our chorus so we'd have a minor with the down 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 Be going back into our chorus. Now the weird part is to play along with fifth harmony though, instead of starting on a C major chord, they're actually starting on an F sharp major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo. And if you put the capo on sixth fret, then now your C chord is really an F sharp major chord, your G major is really a C sharp major chord, your A minor is really a D sharp minor, and your F major is really a B major chord. E minor is really an A sharp minor chord. So just to take it from the very, very beginning that way, and you may want to try just that muting on that first verse. So we have C with F, C, C, G, G, A minor, A minor, F, C, C, E minor. See the down, down, up, up, down, G, down.
And actually, uh, if we're going to try that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, one thing that I like to add to with a song like this is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can do a bass for the chord. So on the C chord, you can do the A string for your bass and then do your down, up, up, down, up. And on the G chord, you'd have the low E string for your bass. So you do low E bass, down, up, up, down, up. On the A minor, you'd have the A string for your bass. On the bar F major, you'd be doing the low E string for your bass. So low E bass, down, up, up, down. On the F major 7, you'd have the D for your bass. And on the E minor, when we get to it, we have the low E string for the bass. So just to kind of try that. So we try that next verse with our bass down, up, up, down. We'd have C to the bass, down, up, up, down, C to the bass, down, up. where there's kind of, kind of a down kill it idea. There's kind of a big push on the end at the very end of that next chorus. Or if we tried that with our 16th note pattern, we'd have kind of that C to the down, down, down. Or if you're kind of digging on adding basses to the 16th note pattern, you can do kind of a bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Or I'm a really big fan of adding more basses. You can do kind of bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. We have a cool pattern too. So we try that with our verse. We have C, bass, down, down, G, bass, down, 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 bass, down, bass, down, down, up, bass, down, up, down, down, bass, bass, down, 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 up, bass, down. kind of experiment with that and then if we took that bass idea and applied it to our next chorus we could kind of do a bass down up up down up on all our chords G A minor with an A bass down up experiment with that and then what, right after that we'd be going back into our bridge part so we tried that with our down down up up down up we'd have G with down down up up down G down down up Basis to that, we'd have A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with a bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down. kind of digging on the 16th pattern with the basses, you could even kind of do bass, bass, down, down on all those chords. See the bass, bass, down, down, the bass, bass, down, down, bass, bass, down, 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 bass, and then after that, then we'd be going back into kind of our chorus for our outro. So we, we, we could do that a lot of different ways, but if we just did that with the 16th and the basses. Now there are also some spots, especially in that last chorus, though, where it almost makes more sense just to kind of do downs. It's almost like a stop time thing. So you may want to kind of experiment with that, too. Down zone, and then kind of 
picking it back up. And you could even do the, the, the muting it thing again, which can, could be kind of cool to parallel the song. And what I really kind of suggest is taking all these ideas and kind of finding something that you like the sound of and then kind of designing how you're going to play the song for yourself. But that's the basics of how you can play this move at all. Uh, fifth harmony. So good luck!